Hello friends, I'm Anuradha and I welcome you to part 7 of our Locals Learning series. So far we have run our script with one user. So in part 5 where we logged into new tools application, our load scenario looked like this. Definitely our application under load test asks for more users, right? But and you think that's easy, right? We can input higher number in the field instead of one. But you know, current script of part 5 we do this, our load scenario would look something like this. Same user logging in multiple times is for sure not a real life scenario. What we actually want is different users logging in the application and we will be actually doing this in this part of session. Apart from this, we also need to add Lucas special method called onStart which is called when a simulated user starts executing that task set class. Why we need it? So the use case is when user start, it picks the username and it should pick username only once, right? And then should keep on running in loop. By the end of this lecture, our final script would be doing this. So are you ready? Pick your keyboard and let's get started. So I'm on my PyCharm project and I have taken a copy of the script which we created during session 5 part 5 of our YouTube series and in case you do not have this script available for any reason you can always obtain it from our QA Milestone Academy GitHub repository and the link to these part 5 uh, lecture and QA Milestone Academy GitHub repository is provided in the description below. So what are we here to do is we have to do again login like we did in script 5 but what different we'll be doing here we'll be running our load test with 5 unique users. For that we need to do certain modifications in our script and what are those modifications let's see. So let me quickly add one list over here and I'll explain it to you. So what I have done here is I have created a list named username and what does this list have? Each element of this list is a tuple which contains two things username and password. Alright and I am not focusing here on more on list and tuples. What I am doing here is indicating here is usage of these Python collections here in Locust script. In case you want to know more about this collection, you can search and find many valuable resources. So now the next important point is we have to, uh, during execution, user has to pick this value instead of this hard coded value. And so we have to replace this with a variable, right? And that variable should be allocated username and password. Now the important point is where should we placing that variable. Now if you remember in the beginning of this uh, session I talked about on underscore start method. Okay. So just uh, let me quickly add on underscore start method and I'll explain the code to you. So here is my code uh, which I will be modifying further for now let's understand what is this. So as I mentioned that as the user comes for execution and it starts executing this class task set user behavior class right it first goes on on start which is a special method provided by locust and this is only executed when user comes for the first time. And rest of the time user keeps on iterating the tasks defined in the script. 
okay and it will never be executing this on start task again so why we need to have what why i feel having need of this on underscore test over here is that user should be each user should be picking name only once okay so as a user starts executing this class it will first pick up its username and password and then it will keep on continuing the uh, task in recursive manner without having to pick username and password again and again right then all good so what else yeah so username is a list and i'm making use of pop function to get any element randomly out of this and what this pop function is also doing it is removing that element that record from the list so that next time the other user comes it will not be having repeated value okay one thing the other thing is tuple so we have tuple right so in each record we have one tuple so just let me give you a quick indication uh, let me give you a quick demo by going on python shell i can go on python shell from my terminal okay and say my tuple is m equal to this and what is the beauty of python is i can define self say x is equal to x comma y equal to m all right and if i print x over here you see and if i print y over here so this is the beauty of python right it's so simple what is happening in this tuple operation when i am defining it in this way it is automatically giving the zero index value to this variable and one first index value to this variable so this is what we have done over here we have defined self username of course we need to pass the instance so self over here self dot username comma self dot password is equal to username dot pop which has one tuple and which is qa milestone comma a qa mile right and so username will be allocated this name and password this name right but and what we have to do finally over here we have to replace this with this value all good just quickly exit out of this shell and i am here so i would like to add print over here to see my username let me rerun the test okay so i want to run five users and i can start the test okay so the statistics has come let's go to the terminal and as you can see these are the users which are being picked and every time login is executed this this printout is shown okay but the user is picked only for one time so should we stop here no what else right so we were able to run test successfully with five users right but the moment we move to 10 users is six users even our script will start failing why because this list will be empty by the time five users have hashed right every time one user comes it picks the and record and removes it from the list so by by the time five user come five users will be removed and this list will be empty and if we run the script with more number of users this this uh, script will fail so what should we be doing either we should be increasing number of users here the number which we wish to run for or we should be putting a cap that why our script is failing right so all you have to do here is before you assign the values you have to check the length of this list itself and for that i'll put if if length 
of username is greater than zero then execute this okay and what if it is not greater than zero I can do some exit in my else statement and for now I can assign default values to self username password so here I am with my script and in this script you learned about defining list within the script for username and password and assigning username and password at the start of task class which is using on a start okay so this was the simplest example and um, I'm sure it won't survive as you proceed with the very large data because here we just had five number of users but in practical scenario we might have 500 or 5000 or 100 which for which is it is not possible to maintain it in a script so there are many methods to that for now for now just learn this beginning milestone and i'll see you later thanks for watching the video and do subscribe to our channel for newer videos and do visit our site qmilestone.com for wonderful posts.